Hi. Today, I would like to tell you how many Danes identify as both cultural Christians and as non-religious at the same time, and explain to you why this is in fact not a paradox. I would guess that quite a many of you are members of the Church of Denmark, right? At the same time, however, I would also guess that quite a many of you don't go to church very often and do not really believe that much in God. The term of the Scandinavian paradox denotes this seemingly contradiction. How do we make sense of it? And how do we accurately describe the religiosity of contemporary majority Danes? Today, I will tell you how I believe we can make sense of this paradox. In my research, I have analyzed qualitative data as well as survey data to try to make sense of this paradox. And today I will explain to you one of the most important findings. What I found in my data was that many people have actually not, ju not just one, but two identities. Let me explain. So first, a lot of people identify as individually non-religious. They identify as individually non-religious because they do not reflect very much upon religion, they do not have religious practices, and when they construct meaning in their lives or handle life crisis, they do not do this through religion. However, many of the same people also identify as cultural Christians. Feeling like a cultural Christian is connected to feeling an infinity with Christian values, traditions and holidays, with going to the church when they celebrate big life-changing events such as baptisms or weddings, and with going to the church when we celebrate the holidays, such as Christmas and Easter. So how do we make sense of this, that people have two simultaneous identities? Well, what I argue is that we should take it seriously. Rather than always forcing people into simply just one box with one identity, we should make room for people to have several identities in our research. Lots of people will feel cultural Christian when they go to church at Christmas, but the next day they will feel non-religious instead. Taking that seriously into our research is how we solve the Scandinavian paradox. So just like many of us have multiple identities in our everyday lives, as for instance, a researcher, someone's friend, someone's daughter, an amateur baker, so do, so do many people have multiple religious identities at the same time. And that is how I believe we can solve the Scandinavian paradox. Thank you. <laughs>